Hi guys, it's Ghoul and today we are going to be doing a speed build and it's going to be a kind of beach house, somewhere where you can just pack up and go to on the weekend, really chilled and not a dark colour in sight and it was a bit of a challenge, I'm not going to lie, so we decided to go with this kind of area, um, we did bulldoze the lock completely and the terrain because I needed something like to work with from scratch, I thought that this was quite a good size build um, and we always kind of map out the area that we need to um, with like a fence, we went with this kind of really you know, kind of cool fence, I really like it and um, I felt like that was more than enough space for what we needed. As I say, I am going to focus on doing smaller builds as well as my traditional bigger builds. So this was the first one. Um, we got our little gate sorted. I went with really light colour sand just to make it kind of stand out a little more. Um, we went with some palm trees and some real Riviera style plants. We went with some, some shrubs and just, you know, just to give it that kind of beachy feel. Um, I just kind of wanted it to be as secluded as possible. I kind of like the fact that um, we made it so secluded because, you know, I kind of don't like the straight lines afterwards. I, you know, I kind of wish we could meld it into the rest of the lot. We kind of went with a few cactuses here and there. I know we're not fully beachy, but I I just had to. I thought they were so cute. We added a few more shrubs in. And I think we kind of went with some flowers as well just to kind of basically fill out some areas without it being too busy. That was my main worry is the fact that I tend to do a lot of detailing in my build and I didn't want to lose any of that but still have the kind of direction that we always kind of go for on my streams. Um, again, I wasn't quite happy with everything so there is a, a bit of an adjustment. I really like how the colours kind of popped out against the sand. I thought that that was really, really effective. And so now so for the main build, I kind of wanted to do like a, a rectangular build with... Um, kind of like on stilts so we kind of went with that kind of thing um I kind of knew that I don't really build like this way so I kind of wanted to challenge myself in like using different kinds of things that already come with the base pack uh, I did make some really light stairs and have the same railings as like surrounding the build because I always like to match so we th thought we'd build up a pool, realising quickly that there wasn't really enough space for a pool, so I kind of went with the other side. Um, I think if I did this again, I probably would like maybe move the stairs a little, or at least maybe have like an area to the side where we could use the stairs. Um, I think it worked well in the end, um, but I don't, I'm not quite sure uh, if... You know, if I do it again with a bigger pool or, you, you know, we'll see. I kind of wanted to fit in the pool with the sand just so it kind of looked all blended into one. I did go with, with, you know, with some water bits, especially with the lighting. I think it's really effective at night time, especially like, you know, if you're if you're having a party or something late at night. I just think it really looks cool. Obviously, I added a little ladder there for safety <laughs> uh, and a mosaic for the bottom, um, which I thought looked really cool. So moving on to the actual house, we kind of put in a basic stable roof. Um, I knew I wanted panel in, so we kind of went with a vertical one. I really like how this come out. Um, I kind of, I'm really glad I chose the colour I did. I think it really fit the windows well. Um, I knew I definitely wanted you know, like a little bit darker to fit the bottom of the railings. Um, and it kind of worked out in our favour. I always adjust because for some reason the rooms never really fit in. And we added a sliding door. I kind of wanted to add a little bit more terrain. I wanted a little barbecue area with some deck chairs. So we kind of added that in to the right of the build so that it was kind of, there was something going on both sides. And I think this worked really, really well. Um, I do like a bit of detailing. Mm -mm. So moving on to the house, I kind of wanted to do, as I say, this is the smallest build I've done. Uh, so I kind of wanted to add in some rooms. I knew that this would be too small, so we kind of went we, and dragged it out a little more. Um, it was quite a challenge, to be fair. Um, and I'm really, really glad that like, I, I did this size. Um, I just adjusted some of those windows because I knew, you know, like it wouldn't, it, it wasn't symmetrical. <laughs> so we put in some wood flo flooring. Um, and some brown tiles just to fit like the colour scheme we were going for. We wanted blues, creams, sandy colours, just because I really felt like that kind of fit the inside and the outside properly. Uh, I really like this floral and panel pattern. I think it just gave something a little extra to the room. And using a, a white border always brightens up the room anyway. These lights are the most simplest lights in The Sims, but they are often the brightest, so I do tend to use them on a lot of my builds just to map out where things go. 
Moving on to the kitchen, I kind of did like a, a blue and white kind of theme. I, I didn't, I struggle with these kitchen counters because I do play it on both console and PlayStation and I do feel sometimes like I, I always confuse the two. So you will see me have a multiple choice of uh, counters, but I think this did really work in the end. Most of my builds tend to include either a table or a kitchen bar. So I was trying to see if we could kind of fit one in, but I you know I kind, of, I kind of went without it this time because I just felt like the room was just too small and I didn't want it too cluttered uh, I really wanted to go with quite a minimal look as you can see I got rid of that bar um, and yeah I, I'm actually really happy with how things turned out space wise I added those doors in so we kind of knew what we were working with and then I went in with the white goods I changed the white goods around a little bit. I kind of just went with basic. Um, just because like, I just kind of wanted it to look like a little show home where, you know, like whenever you go to a holiday home or what have you, there's bits out, but you really do make it your own for however long you stay there. So as always, I include a fire alarm <laughs> because The Sims are infamous for this kind of thing. Uh, curtains and I have never got on on The Sims 4. <laughs> I, I always hate them and I always forget to put them. So I thought we'd try a little vibe here, but I wasn't really feeling it. I put these um, blinds in. I know they're not quite covering the window and I... That does irritate me a little bit, but I thought it went really well with the theme. Um, as you can see, I still wasn't happy in the end. So I added a few more bits to the kitchen, like the sink, uh, a dishwasher, uh, and the bin. The bin was really hard to place because I wanted it all kind of sectional, um, but still giving it that open plan vibe. I really love these lights. I think they're great for over lighting. So we kind of went with these. Like, again, with like having the little bits of gold really fit in with the rest of the house. And then I think we moved on yeah, we moved on to the bathroom. So the bathroom has a very similar vibe where it's very simple. Uh, it's very like universal almost. Uh, but I kind of wanted to put some character in with the accessories. So what I did was I put in some half moon um, rugs. And I was kind of glad I went with the blue because I think it breaks up like the yellows and the creams a lot. And, and we went with like blue towels and uh, I think a blue towel rack as well just because I thought it would look better than just having you know plain colors and i think it would fit in with the rest of the house as well <laughs> go with that towel uh, so yeah so placement was um my problem because again switching from console to playstation is a little tricky and this is a film via playstation I wasn't really sure about this bed. I kind of wanted there to be a bit more room um, for the bed. So I didn't really like putting a double bed in the corner, but we kind of tried to make it work with um, just having really simple furniture in there. I thought about having this in, but I kind of wanted it to match. Uh, so we did redo the bedside cabinet. And I added a little clock. <laughs> So mirror wise, it was quite kind of tricky to get everything fitted. I went with one from the vintage glamour pack in the end just because I thought it would be, you know, I'll add a little something to the room with the gold. It matches like the windows, etc. I love adding these little frames in. I think they're really, really cute. I think they add something to a room and I always do three. Going into dresses, it was like... I wanted to create a space but again it kind of felt a little crowded to me so I probably would go in and redo this room. Like <laughs> finding these flip flop lights were amazing for the build but I really struggled to find an area to put them so I just put them at the head and the tail of the bed thinking that it would you know add something. I really liked this kind of tapestry look so I kind of added one here but I did realise at that moment like the window was a little too close to the dresser so I decided to move it all at a later date. I really love this sofa, I think it really fits in with the whole beach vibe. I did include the armchair but I got rid of it simply because um, it didn't really fit the table as well so I, w I do wish, as much as I love a, a small build, I do wish I could have made it a little bigger but what would have been the challenge in that? I felt the coffee table really fit in with the shape and the size of the sofa so I left that in there. I put a jukebox in because, you know, who doesn't love a little bit of music? I added in the um, the resort table simply because I wanted something, um, you know, like, like a little table to put things on uh, and just adds a bit of character in. I didn't go too crazy with the accessories this time, normally I do. Um, I went with the little ottoman there just so there was something on, on the floor. Again, I wasn't too happy with these, uh, so I did leave the windows as is. 
Um, and I did re I did move that because I felt it looked a lot better outside. Going back in, I definitely would update the bedroom and change things around a little more. Um, I added these gorgeous palm trees outside because, again, I just wanted it to look a little tropical, like like a really nice area you would want to like spend a few days. <laughs> Going back into rugs, I kind of wanted the kind of like I really like the stripes. I thought the stripes were really cool. It kind of like just elevated the rooms a little bit and and I just thought like it, the the spacing of the rug and you know, I don't know I just really really liked it and I thought it just made it look a little fresher so I was quite happy with that um we did decide to change the roof we went with a blue which I thought really suited the outside of the build as well um, and then we just added like a few little bits outside I did add these um <laughs> the flip-flop lights and I did like put them in the blue to make sure like they were able to, you know, to match everything. And the, <laughs> it doesn't match the door, and that is something I will probably look at at a later date. So going back to this cobble area outside, I did put down some recliners, like lounges and stuff, because I wanted to include the blue, and I'm really glad I went with the patterns, because I think it just adds a little something. And of course, adding those beach umbrellas, really, really, really added to it. I, I was really pleased with them. Um, normally I wouldn't go for patterns, so I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, I went with a little barbecue as well because, you know, it's summer, who doesn't want a barbecue? I added some outdoor lighting, but just because I felt like that's what they needed at the time. I'm like, I'm kind of glad I really went in and did all these little pieces because I think it just adds a little more to it. Um, especially with like adding the little lights here. And I think that's it. I think, oh no, I think we added some of the accessories on the outside. And um, we added in some palm tree lights. Because I, I thought, you know, neon lights would look really cool on the outside. And yeah, I think that's it. I think we're done. Um, that's everything. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. We're going to be doing a lot more Sims builds and putting them on here. Um, so yes, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.